Yeah. It's what's up and about. And uh, there's something here on um, on social media. Uh, an actor, Sheon Jimo, raised up some questions. And uh, quite interesting uh, take that he has here. It says, uh, Nigerians, especially the woke youth, are serious and serial cloud chasers. Uh, what, what comes to mind now is 5 million and FINA. That is what comes to mind and how that has been going back and forth. But everyone is quick to jump on the justice for Mobad bandwagon, but no justice for the kidnap Abuja kids. Uh, outcry has been supported any, no outcry has been supported anywhere, even on their beloved, their beloved social media cloud chasing space. Shena, because them be, no be celebrities are be. We are just like our government. We only respond when it benefits us or nurses our ego. I have hardly ever seen a genuine cry for justice in Nigeria. Either the gatherings are turned to opportunities to party or opportunities to go from page to page trolling people that don't agree with their nonsensical ideologies. A country that should wear sackcloth, sit at the gates and wail the loss of its children, stays up partying and drinking itself to stupor. One day I hope we'll have not just a responsive government, but a people that truly care about their neighbors, especially when it doesn't directly massage their own egos. And uh, it's, it's been, people have, have been given different thoughts and says, oh, um, that's not true, or that's true, and all about. We know that there's quite a lot. Now he's putting the responsibility on citizens as much as more of it when it comes to security. A lot of it is on the government. But I, like I mentioned during when we're speaking about the Ibadan stuff, we can also, uh, uh, intelligence gathering is a big part of a security network of any mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. And intelligence gathering comes from, you know, people talking about what is happening. You see something that is a bit unusual. Do you let somebody know or do you want to do tribe of Judah way and keep it in the house and you don't let people outside know or something? Yeah, you know, so that's, you know, so he's raising concerns about how when, when something is becoming a little bit celebrated, or it's, it's when it's now cool to talk about something, people talk about it. But when it's not that, you don't see as much rancor or as much uh, uh, hype as you'd see when, it, when it's the, the other way. I do not agree with him, actually. I don't. <laughs> because, <laughs> bar the outcry and outrage of Nigerians that you know that 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 where you know that that was expressed over the weekend you know since the the, the reports were, you know came to you know came to the fore have been alarming we i mean people have even been tagging ministers tagging senators in abuja and tagging even the presidents drawing the attention of every leader you know to you know treat these, you know, kidnapping cases as urgent, even as, you know, I mean, because it's gone to the point where it has become a case of emergency and it needs to be treated as such. So to be honest, I really do not agree with him. Maybe he's, you know, more focused on another part of social media, which is Instagram. But a lot was happening on the, on the Twitter space over the weekend, even till yesterday. Even till yesterday, there were there were lots of um, um, there were there has been crowdfunding accounts that has been circulated over the socials yeah. to try to raise monies yeah. for these you know kidnapped mm -hmm. victims. Because other than the Abuja victims, there were also other you know remote cases that were being that were being mentioned. You know whose families had to you know also use that opportunity to come online and cry out that please oh these. People have been kidnapped. They also need our help. So we are not crowdfunding for just one sector of people. While you know there are some other people who also need help, and they are not also being mentioned. So I, I do not agree to it. And you know, I'm, I'm also very, very um, I'm amazed at the at the um, at, at the at the um, support Nigerians. You know, we the, the support we've been getting so far because I know that some monies have been raised to a large extent and people are still, you know, still putting monies together, even if it's not in cash, but in kind. There's just been that support on social media. And, and, and this is, it's, this is um, it's at this point that the, the government really, really, really needs to step in and treat this as urgent mm -hmm. as, as possible. possible.
Yeah, oh, anyways, um, considering the guy, I won't actually put a lot of thoughts to him and whatever his comment was, because, I mean, going through a lot of comments under his post, I mean, just says, I mean, just kind of describes, I mean, the kind of personality um, he that is. he is. Yeah, besides that, I mean, a lot of people are saying, I mean, um, charity begins at home, right? You're complaining about these things. You what are a done? celebrity. Mm. Yeah, step out in the streets. Mm -hmm. So I think what he's actually referring to is the fact that people haven't come out like a mass, actually like go a protest. out to protest. Uh -huh. So I think that's what he's referring to. And uh, my thoughts on that is literally, okay, so the ones that have been done in the past, what, what has literally been? has been done. Most times we know that the Nigerian police are not necessarily um, 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 too, like, into protests because most times they actually go and try to disperse mm. the crowd even when it's peaceful and all of that. And we know, fine, I mean, protests are not necessarily um, encouraged because, I mean, of the security situation and what you should, people usually turn it into yeah. and all of that. However, this is actually quite a sensitive um, situation and I would even say one quite close to home um, based on um, some experiences I've had recently. But then again, it just, I think it just, it just, it's just, it's just sad, right, that the situation of insecurity in Nigeria has risen to this point. I mean, we always heard about it, but now I've literally been at a situation where I've had to closely listen in on like authorities meant to be in charge of certain things that have to do with security of Nigerians and civilians in this country. And to be very honest, it's not encouraging. So we talk about how a lot of civilians have come together to put monies together to help um, um, pay as ransom. But then again, what exactly is the government doing about this particular situation, right? As regards whether it's putting money aside, or these people that are kidnapping people, they are reaching out to people, right? To have conversations based on, okay, fine, this is a ransom, this is where it's going to be paid and everything. Can't those numbers be traced? Are we really saying that the authorities really have no idea who these people are, considering the fact that this thing is something that has been rampant, so we haven't caught one that can lead us to the den of the others? Like, it's just a whole lot. And the truth is, I mean, I visited the police station during um, this festive season, and to be honest, you're going into report a situation, even the like body a language, the, like a, do you understand? Like, is, is, in the end, it's your business. Mm, yeah. So I'm wondering, so why we do we have a it. police force? What are they really doing? Why mm. did you, that, why, everybody should literally be encouraged to literally have their own security, and then maybe like, so it's, to, to be honest, like, the whole thing is really, really upsetting. I, I don't even want to talk anymore about it. So it's just, it's just sad. It's really, really sad. Like, it's a situation like this. And now the kidnappings that are happening are irrespective of whether they know the family to be wealthy or not. Or not. So if we know that they're even targeting the wealthy ones, you know, okay, fine. But as the bad, two weeks, three weeks, one month, they will pay the ransom. But yeah, yeah you're targeting people that literally have little or no livelihood. Where do you want them to raise such monies from? Mm. But nobody's even thinking about whether they can raise the money or where they are raising the money. The people kidnapping are just, they are just bent on, just give us our money, we don't care where. And, that's and it's just really sad. And the truth is, we Nigerians even raising the money to pay these ransoms. It's and not, it's not, it's even, not it's advisable. Not situation. It's, not, it's not even advisable. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's not it's, advisable. But um, this, there's hmm. still so much to be said in regards to the, you know, the insecurity that we are currently dealing with as a nation. And uh, it's a cry for help. And I yeah. think at this point, the, the government really needs to step in and do something. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a time out now. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this one. <laughs>